Ile ingine, your excellence, because you are here. And I'm sure you are MPs might not be able to tell you the truth. Mimi in a PhD economics. My PhD is in economics. Ugiuliza waziri, amesema mimi mtu wa maesabu, na ukweli maesabu, na mimi na mathematics is one thing. Ameniambi ile hesabu ni uweza kupata kukosa kidogo ni hesabu ya kutoingia kwanza, Kenya kwanza. Na hiyo nakubali. Hiyo hesabu hiyo hiyo si kupata. Lakini ukweli excellence. Na ni vizuri tuambie wakubwa ukweli. Ndio tusaidie inchi. Ya excellence ukiangalia finance bill. Mimi nimekaa mbunge miaka kumi na moja. Sijai kuona finance bill nyingine yenye na upishi kama hii ya mwaka huu wa 2030, 2023. For the last 11 years I've been in parliament. I've never seen it. And the question I ask myself is, why this resistance? Why? Unajua since wakamba to resist huku is expected, as I said earlier, sana sana tuna a lot of shares kwa upande wa siyasa, lakini ukiangalea register ya taxpayers, your excellency, wakamba tumenja huko. Ama na muna gani wakamba? Tuwe bako uti, alama kwa zetu bako uti kwa kwa hivyo mwana mwambozu, we pay you taxes. Na diyo tunasema kwa sababu tunalipa tax Na hii bile tupita tunalipa kulipa tax We must get it right How do we get it right? You have said there are only two controversial things Only two Na kama hiyo mutaweza Na ni atani lazima tushukuru raizi Jana nilisikia ile likuwa ya vijana Ile digital creation Raizi ya mewaondolea That's what we want to see We want flexibility in terms of matters Finance so that you can't get a thing out of the sana, una And you make sense, you are no musomi. Nakosan, you are musomi, meaning, while to musoma economics, the basic principle is that no country in the world has ever developed by taxing people beyond their capacity to pay. No country in the world. None. And you must say the truth. So, Kosan, when you are taxing the process, too, at the end of the day, ni besa kwa mesa. Hila watafanya kasi nani. At the same time, besa ni ataxpaya. Since tunalipa, tunapea rigiji, na boss, wanatumia kuligana manifesto ya Kenya Kwanza. So the money belongs to the taxpayer. And because that is the case, I want to appeal to you, Pana Deputy President, ukikutana na Raisi Gioni, muangalia two things. Mambo ya kuongezea VAT from 8 to 16 percent. I'm not talking as an economist. So how mambo ya ziyaza hini kitu niyanza juzi juzi. That's why hindi yu ninakula anga hii hii na hongea juu yake. Mambo ya kuongezea VAT from 8 to 16. Please let's sober us as Kenyans and look at that proposal. Tuulizane, hii ilikuwa natopea pesa ngapi kwa mfuku ya serikali. Is there alternative way of raising the same amount? And if you need that alternative way, I'll be there for consultation for the sake of my country. The other thing I need us to talk about, Your Excellency, hii mambo ya nyumba, hii mambo ya nyumba unasikia mbaya kisema, huyu, huyu akipigia hiyo kitu next week, atafutwa na watu wakitu huyu, uta muona tena. Atafutwa, waja ni kwambio kweli. Atafutwa. Kwa hivyo hili, hili tutuweza kukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukuk